Hi everyone, thanks for watching today's video. You might remember in my last video when I was talking about symptoms of gallstones, I spoke about two conditions. One is called biliary colic and one is called acute cholecystitis. They are both the symptoms which are associated with pain in the tummy due to gallstones. So today I'm going to talk about the difference between what causes biliary colic and how is it different from acute cholecystitis. So to understand the difference between acute cholecystitis and biliary colic, I've drawn this picture. I've removed the liver, which is supposed to be here somewhere. So I've removed the liver from the diagram. I've also removed the pancreas, which is supposed to be down here because for this topic, they are not important to talk about or show. These are the two tubes coming out of the liver called the hepatic ducts. They join into one tube called the hip common hepatic duct and on the side of it is our gallbladder. As we spoke in our previous couple of videos, gallbladder is shaped like a pear. So you can see it's got a neck, a tube called the cystic duct, a neck and the main body of the gallbladder. In this gallbladder I've shown quite a few stones which are drawn in red. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Now to understand the difference between biliary colic and acute cholecystitis, please remember that most of these gallstones do not cause any trouble in vast majority of patients. They'll be sitting in there and not causing any problems. However, sometimes what happens when the gallbladder contracts, so it squeezes when we eat food, especially fatty food, to push the bile out. So the bile will be pushed out and go into the small part of our intestine, the duodenum, to digest our fat, then if it has gallstones in it, when it pushes the bile out, sometimes it tries to push the stones out as well, because stones are sitting in there, and when they are pushed out, one of them might get stuck in this tube, because it's too big to go through. And when this stone gets stuck, the gallbladder cannot empty, because gallbladder is trying to push, 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 but it can't push anymore because there's a stone stuck in here and it cannot empty. So to try and push it through, it try and squeeze as hard as it can. And when it squeezes, it causes intense pain to the patient. It's like having almost like labor pain because in labor pain, the uterus in which there is a baby, the uterus is squeezing to push the baby out. And exactly what is happening in the case of the gallbladder. Gallbladder is a muscular organ like the uterus. It's try, trying to push the stone out to get rid of all the bile in the gallbladder. But the stone is stuck in the neck of the gallbladder. Now, if the gallbladder can't push the stone out because stone is too big to go through, then what will happen? The gallbladder, instead of being getting empty, after a while, after trying for a while, after trying to push for a while, it will get tired. And when it gets tired, the mus muscle cannot squeeze anymore. And it will start expanding, expanding, expanding. So the gallbladder from this size will become bigger and bigger and bigger. And as the gallbladder becomes bigger, the stone will become loose in there and fall back inside the gallbladder. And the pain will suddenly go. Because the gallbladder Nothing is blocking the gallbladder anymore and the bile will be pushed through and the pain will disappear. Now this condition which typically lasts for about 24 hours or less and the pain goes away after 24 hours or less is called biliary colic. It's a severe intense pain on the right side of the patient under the rib cage, which goes through to the back as I discussed in my previous video, goes through to the back between the shoulder blades. It is so bad, so bad that it doubles up the patient. Most patients will go to the hospital to get some strong painkillers because the normal painkillers like paracetamol or ibuprofen don't always control this pain. And the patient gets painkillers in the hospital and typically within 24 hours, when the gallstone falls back into the gallbladder, the pain disappears. Obviously, it can happen again in the future, but for that time, the patient is pain-free and they can normally go home. 
So in Bilirubin colic, the patient has got severe pain. They're doubled up in pain. Come to accident and emergency in the hospital to get painkillers because normal painkillers are not controlling their discomfort or their pain. After twenty four hours or within twenty four hours, the pain will disappear completely. If you feel the patient's tummy, if you, if the doctor touches the patient's tummy, it's not very very tender. Patient has got no fever. Patient. Blood results are generally normal. There is no signs of infection in the blood. However, in some patients, it changes. The reason is, in other types of patients, when the stone gets stuck, the gallbladder, even when it expands to dislodge the stone, the stone still stays stuck. It can't come out. When the stone is stuck. All the bile in the gallbladder can't come out. So these blue lines I have shown as the bile which can't come out anymore. So it is staying in the gallbladder for next few days. And after a while, what happens? Like if we have water in the pond which can't be moved, can't come out, it gets dirty. Same thing happens when the bile can't come out of the gallbladder. Within a day or two, it gets infected, and the bacteria come into it. So gallbladder literally becomes a bag of pus. and the wall of the gallbladder becomes very thick because it is now inflamed and infected the bile inside is full of pus literally it looks like thick yellow or white pus because either is infected bile or infected mucus from the gallbladder gallbladder is surrounded by fluid because of the infection but typically as compared to biliary colic and acute cholecystitis when the gallbladder is infected the patient is feeling very unwell the severity of the pain is not as severe as it was in biliary colic however they are still in pain and the pain is usually under the right side of the rib cage again going through to their back between the shoulder blades in most patients in addition to it they are also feeling terribly unwell so they got fever they are shivering because of the fever and being unwell also if their blood are checked for infection all the infection markers like white cell count etc will all be very high suggesting there is infection in the body the treatment of biliary colic was painkillers strong painkillers until the pain disappears however the treatment of acute cholecystitis is not just painkillers because painkillers are required because still painful however the important treatment is antibiotics in the first few days antibiotics are given intravenously in the hospital after which once the pain is settling down it they can be changed to oral antibiotics for further few days until it's completely settled moreover the difference between biliary colic and acute cholecystitis when the patient comes in with biliary colic into the hospital when the doctor is examining them when they touch the upper part of the abdomen under the right side of the rib cage when they touch the gallbladder i explained in my previous video please do watch it the gallbladder is not very tender to touch it might be a bit of soreness but not very very tender to touch however in acute cholecystitis because the gallbladder is full of pus is like a bag of pus whenever the surgeon or doctor touches the gallbladder is extremely painful and tender and the patient catches their breath when the fingers touch the gallbladder under the rib cage the definitive diagnosis of biliary colic and acute cholecystitis can be made by performing a simple ultrasound scan of the tummy the ultrasound in biliary colic will show a thin wall gallbladder with gallstones in it whereas in acute cholecystitis it will show a very thick wall gallbladder with pus inside the gallbladder obviously gallstones and lots of fluid around the gallbladder other scan like mri scan or ct scan can also be performed to confirm the diagnosis what is the long term treatment for biliary colic or acute cholecystitis in biliary colic if the pain does not happen in the future again or only mild discomfort or pain over the next few years then no further treatment is necessary and the gallbladder can be left alone if however the patient is getting repeated attacks of biliary colic every few weeks every few months then that gallbladder will have to be removed and vast majority of them can be removed with a keyhole operation very occasionally an open operation may be necessary in acute cholecystitis 
if on the first admission when the patient is very unwell and the antibiotics are not working to reduce the infection or inflammation of the gallbladder then that patient will require an emergency operation to have the gallbladder removed even if on the first admission the pain does settle down however going forwards in the future they start getting attacks again and again and again like they were getting in biliary colic then that gallbladder will need to be removed if however there are no future attacks of acute cholecystitis and again the gallbladder can be left alone and no further treatment is necessary and as i explain like for biliary colic the treatment is removing the gallbladder with a keyhole operation which can be performed in vast majority of patients however if patients have had quite a bit of problem with the gallbladder it can be quite difficult to remove with a keyhole and those patients can require an open operation with the cut on a tummy i hope you found this video informative and you understand a bit more about the difference between biliary colic and acute cholecystitis if something is not clear and you wish to ask me any question then please feel to write in the comments below if you like this video then please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe in my next video i'm going to talk about a condition called a calculus cholecystitis in which inflammation of the gallbladder can happen without any gallstones thank you for watching